Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. Today, we will take a look at the Sunlu FC01 filament connector. The purpose of this little device is to connect two pieces of filament together. If you've been 3D printing for a while, you probably have a lot of nearly empty spools. They can't be used most of the time since there's just not enough filament to finish pretty much any print. A good way to save these instead of just throwing them away is to connect different filaments together so you can use them to print some drafts or prototypes. So let's take a look at how this filament connector works. I would like to thank Sunlu for sending me this device and for sponsoring today's video. And with that, let's get started. Besides the device, it comes with a USB cable and a pack of 200 PTFE sleeves. As the back of the device states, it requires a 5 volt 2 amp input power, so your computer USB port or other small chargers with 0.5 or 1 amp may not be able to provide enough power. But any new phone chargers with a maximum output greater than 2 or 2.4 amps should work. Once the power is connected, you can press the on-off button at the top right corner. Then select the filament type. I will try PLA. It takes about two and a half minutes to heat up to the preset 185 degrees Celsius. While it's heating, we can take two pieces of filament and join them with a the PTFE sleeve. It's best to cut them at a 45 degree angle and join them like this. Once the temperature is reached, we can put the sleeve inside, close it, and gently push the two filaments toward each other. Just apply minimal force to keep them touching. If you push too hard, it will fail. For the PLA program, the machine will beep after 8 seconds. Let's take it out and let it cool for 10 to 20 seconds before seeing the result. Okay, use a knife or flush cutter to remove the PTFE sleeve. It seems the filaments join together pretty well. I wouldn't say it's as perfect as an original one-piece filament since it still depends on how you cut them and how much force you apply when joining them, but it should be good enough to still serve its purpose. I will then repeat the process and join some of my other leftover spools. Okay, this is my DIY random rainbow PLA. You could say this device can be used for creativity as you can mix different colors together, but I mainly consider it as a filament saving device. This kind of filament is good for draft prints and functional parts, so I will print a trash can with it. Here is the result. When we take a close look at the joints, I can't see any obvious unevenness or extrusion issues, so it worked pretty well. This machine also has other programs for PCL, PLA, ABS, PETG, and PA, with the only differences being the temperature and the timer for the beep sound. For PETG, the preset program is set to 210 degrees Celsius for 8 seconds. For ABS, it's 220 degrees Celsius for 8 seconds. For nylon, the preset is 230 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds, but I have nylon carbon fiber, so I manually increase the temperature to the maximum 240 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds. The same setting also works for the Prusa PC blend, which requires a lower printing temperature of around 275 degrees Celsius compared to pure PC. I also tried TPU using the PLA program and it worked just fine. Besides this Sunlu brand connector, there are also a few different options in the market, but most of them are very similar. They basically put a heating element inside a clamp to heat and melt the filament, but those machines don't have a screen to set the temperature, they don't have a timer to remind you when the process is done, and they don't have PTFE sleeves. Instead, they come with sanding blocks to smooth the surfaces of the joined filament. As these types of filament connectors are very simple products, I think Sunly used the same idea and improved it with a screen as a controller, making it a better product compared to the existing ones on the market. 
the average price of these generic filament connectors is around $45 to $60, which I think is honestly a bit overpriced. The Sunlu connector is currently available for $35, which is more reasonable. The only consumable part is the PTFE sleeves. Each device comes with a pack of 200, which can last a long time if you print about one to two spools a week. However, I would like to see Sunlu release the price of the PTFE sleeves so customers can purchase them separately. For now, you can add $5 for one extra pack or $9 for two extra packs when purchasing the device. The sleeves allow you to connect filaments more easily. However, a tip I want to share is that the trickiest part is managing the curved filament on the almost empty spool, which is likely to bounce and pull back. You need to hold the filament with your other fingers while using your thumb to close or open the cover. This way you can apply pressure to push the filaments toward each other. Once you master this, the device is fairly easy to use. Regarding filament waste, I have some thoughts I want to share. With multiple color printing becoming more popular, there are now a few affordable multi-filament systems from companies like Bamboo Lab, Creality, and Anycubic, with more to come. The filament waste or filament poop generated during the use of these single print head multiple filament systems is significant. When printing a single model with multiple colors, the filament waste can be four to five times more than the filament actually used for the model. As Sunlu has a long history of filament manufacturing, I think they could develop an affordable filament recycling machine with their experience in the field. Currently, there are some free DIY plans available online, but they require a lot of work from the user. Consumer-grade machines can cost a few thousand dollars. If Sunlu could create one priced around $500 to $1,000, I believe there would be a huge demand. If you were interested in this Sunlu filament connector, I put the link in the description. I also added the link to my website, auroratechchannel.com, which monitors the prices of over 150 popular 3D printers, laser engravers, and CNC machines. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.